This old lady magically returns to her 20-year-old self and has a chance to chase her dreams. Will she be able to run after those dreams, even if it means leaving her family behind? Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today we'll recap and review a South Korean comedy drama film, Miss Granny. Let's check it out. The movie starts with Mal Soon, a 74-year-old widow who is currently tending to customers in an elderly cafe. She owns this cafe that her son, Hyun Chul, built for her. She takes so much pride in having a son like him and brags about his profession as a public university lecturer to others whenever she gets a chance. To her, raising him all by herself through poverty is her biggest pride in life. She is ill-tempered, insensitive, and tends to push people around to do things her way. But regardless of that, Mr. Park, a friend of one of the staff in the elderly cafe, is foolishly in love with her. Mel Soon's smile disappears when she sees Okia, another elder woman that puts a sour taste in her mouth. Okia approaches Mr. Park sweetly, but acts rudely with Mal Soon. The two exchanged more insults to one another until a cat fight starts between them. Despite being old, these two are really going at it. They're fighting with a lot of strength. It's as if they're just regular high schoolers. And like a fool in love, Mr. Park tries to interfere with the fight, but he ends up being the only one that gets injured. And he's not even involved in the first place. At his home, his daughter Young tends to his injuries while scolding him because he keeps on associating with Mal Soon. Mal Soon arrives right that moment and scolds Young for being an old maid and leeching off her father at her age. Like her usual snobbish self, she just leaves a plastic bag in his house and coolly leaves while Mr. Park follows her with his motorcycle. Young gets more upset when the plastic bag that she left contains peaches. Mr. Park is allergic to them and even after so many years of knowing each other, Mal Soon is still unaware of it. Elsewhere, a music audition was being held. Sung Woo, a music producer, and his colleague watch but remain disinterested because no one is standing out. He's a firm believer that singing must be from the soul, and these singers shouldn't just focus on their appearance. At home, Mal Soon's behavior is the same, especially with her daughter-in-law, Aja. She nitpicks and comments on everything that Aja does and does not do. That morning, they caught Jiha, the younger son, trying to sneak out. Aja scolds him because he prioritizes music over his studies. Mal Soon immediately butts in and scolds Aja for her way of educating his son. Aja's rough relationship with Mal Soon is one of the many reasons for Aja's stress. She's even on medication for the emotional turmoil she faces every day in that household. Elsewhere, Jiha's band is facing a crisis when their vocalist quits after he comments on how terrible he sounds. They also no longer have their own rehearsal space. The same day, Mal Soon comes home and finds that Aja has fainted. They immediately rush her to the hospital and Hyun Chul discovers that if her health continues to get worse, she might need to undergo surgery. The doctor advises him to make their home a stress-free environment because depression might worsen her condition. Unaware that Mal Soon is listening, Hana comments that Mal Soon is stressing Aja out. Thus, she needs to move out of the house and go to a retirement home. That night, Mal Soon decides to go to the retirement home for Aja's health. She acts fine in front of Hyun Chul, but at work, she's sullen and not her usual self. To make things worse, a middle-aged woman named Obak came to the cafe, claiming Mal Soon ruined her life after stealing their family soup recipe and selling it as her own. She attacks Mal Soon, but she didn't dodge and lets her express her frustration. Mr. Park pulls Obak away, and Mal Soon admits that she did it to raise her son amid poverty. Mal Soon weeps alone because of how awful her day is. She wipes her eyes immediately when Ji Ha calls and asks her if she could treat him and his friends out for dinner. She agrees, but first she goes to a local photo studio to have her picture taken. While preparing to have her picture taken, she asks the photographer about Audrey Hepburn, but discovers that she's been dead for over 20 years. This makes her sad, because she thinks she was the most beautiful actress that she knew. While they're on the topic of beauty, she boasts that during her younger years, she was known for her beauty and voice. She also reveals that she's getting her picture taken because this is the picture she'll be using on her funeral altar. The photographer mysteriously smiles and tells her that he'll make her look 50 years younger as he snaps the photo. After that, Mal Soon comes out and swiftly moves through the traffic to catch the bus she usually rides. 
Upon riding, her appearance changes and she looks 50 years younger. Her youthful appearance even caught the attention of three men who were actively hitting on her. This pisses her off because one of them is even talking informally to her. In Korea, using honorifics is very important as it shows respect to older people or people of higher status. Imagine how irritated Mal Soon was when a guy much younger than her drops the honorifics while talking to her. She slaps the guy, but gets surprised upon seeing her reflection. Because of her new appearance, she couldn't bring herself to face Jiha, knowing that he will never believe what happened to her. She returns to the building to find the photo studio where she had her pictures taken. However, she only sees a restaurant that's been there for 10 years, and the restaurant owner even says there is no such thing as a photo studio in their area. The restaurant owner even gets a bit pissed off because Mal Soon is not using honorifics while talking to her. The next day, Mr. Park panics when Hyun Chul informs him that Mal Soon didn't come home that night. Meanwhile, Mal Soon spent the night in a sauna where she was celebrating because her body has so much strength and energy. In the locker room, Mal Soon sees an old person like her and is determined to use the opportunity to live her life to the fullest. Using her debit card, she gets an Audrey Hepburn inspired haircut and clothes to match her style from the movies that she did when she was younger. She even buys herself red lacy underwear. If the 1950s is to make a comeback, well then younger Mal Soon might fit right in. Her style looks like it was taken right out of the catalog of Audrey Hepburn's wardrobe. As for her lodging, she goes to Mr. Park's home to rent a room and introduces herself as Du Ri from Audrey Hepburn. She also sneaks a note into her house saying she's well. However, Asia didn't take this well and thinks she's protesting. Even if she's gotten much younger, Mal Soon still hangs out in the elderly cafe. Dissatisfied after seeing Okia's so-so performance, she walks up to the podium to show what a true performance is. She astounds everyone because of how perfectly she expresses the emotion of the song. She also captures both Ji Ha's heart and Sung Woo's attention. Her performance ends and she receives a standing ovation and a round of applause from the audience. However, she runs off immediately the moment she notices Ji Ha. Both Xiang Wu and Ji Ha run after her to recruit her, but she was too fast for them. Luckily for Ji Ha, he meets her again in Mr. Park's house, where he invites her out for a drink to ask her to be a part of his band. Seeing her grandson acting miserable, she agrees. However, she gets surprised to see Ji Ha's heavy metal music, and it's not her style of music at all. She proposes that they sing a song that's rather more upbeat and cheery. The band was reluctant at first, but they eventually agree when Mal soon charms them with her wink. In their rock star get-ups, they play the same cheery song in public, which made their tip jar full of money. Because of this success, they started playing the same song in the clubs. Sung Woo, on the other hand, meets Mal Soon again on the train and gets amused when she scolds a young mother and acts like an old woman. He also tries to discreetly follow her, but he was not so good at that when Mal Soon caught him sneaking up on her. Thinking Sung Woo is a stalker, Mal Soon did everything to drive him away. She even pretends that Sung Woo is touching her inappropriately and reports it to the patrol police who arrest him on the spot. The next day, Ji Ha invites Mal Soon over to his house. She asks Ji Ha if she could see his grandmother's room, and he gladly obliged. Thinking she's just curious, Ji Ha leaves her to help with meal preparation. Taking this opportunity, Mal Soon gets her stamp because her family has blocked her card. At the same time, Hyun Chul and Mr. Park are at the police station looking at the security camera clips of the person withdrawing cash using Mal Soon's card. However, they cannot identify this person because an umbrella is covering them up. Mr. Park takes a closer look because he's seen this umbrella before. The next day, Mr. Park confirms his suspicions as he sees the younger Mal Soon using the exact umbrella they saw on the CCTV. When she's gone, he rummages through her things and finds some of Mal Soon's things. Meanwhile, Sung Woo and Mal Soon meet again in the TV studio. Since he's been eager to scout her as a talent, Sung Woo immediately offers a contract to Ji Ha and his band to become a part of their program and even provides them with a practice room. They accept this offer immediately as a chance like this may never come to them again. 
Mel soon comes home to Mr. Park attacking her. However, since she's gotten younger, she easily overpowers him. Mr. Park is convinced that the younger Mal Soon is the one behind Mal Soon's disappearance. He even asks her to eliminate him because to him, life without Mal Soon is meaningless. A little later, she does end up convincing Mr. Park that she is Mal Soon by showing him that smile that Mr. Park fell in love with 50 years ago. In her cafe, she shows Mr. Park how good it is to be young. She even tells him how she's fulfilling her childhood dream to become a famous singer. While Mal Soon is feeding Mr. Park, Okia witnesses it and immediately assumes that he's in a relationship with someone so much younger. She informs Nae Young about this. At first, Nae Young couldn't believe it, but eventually thinks that it might be true when she finds Mr. Park working out, probably for someone. Since Mr. Park is already aware of her secret, she asks him for help to relay a message to her family that she's doing fine and living the life she always wanted to have. He also reminds them to reactivate her credit card because she needs the money. Meanwhile, Jiha's band finally make their TV debut and it was a success as the audience roars after their performance. Malsoon was able to perfectly convey the song's emotion because she sang it while reminiscing about the hard times in the past. Because of their success, Seung Woo treats Jiha's band to a water park where they definitely enjoy themselves. Mal Soon and Mr. Park try the simulated wave pool together and they get surprised at how powerful the impact is. Sung Woo saves her from getting swept away and takes her out of the pool to rest. While Sung Woo and Mal Soon are alone together, she's starting to feel the sparks between them, which makes her giggle like a young girl. However, she snaps out of it when she sees the wounded part of her feet's skin getting wrinkled. She theorizes that whenever her blood comes out of her body, she returns to her older self. They confirmed it when at home Mr. Park purposely pricks her feet and it immediately wrinkles after bleeding. Nay Young catches them in a suggestive position which infuriates her. She throws Mal Soon out and berates her when she thinks that she's seducing her father. Mr. Park defends her but couldn't say the truth that she is Mal Soon. Seeing the father and daughter fighting, she volunteers to leave on her own. Mr. Park goes to Hyun Chul to tell him that Du Ri is Mal Soon. However, Hyun Chul just ignores his words, thinking he's going through the first stage of dementia or depression. Mal Soon, on the other hand, has nowhere to go and gets caught in the rain. Luckily, Seung Woo was just in time and invites her into his apartment. They share a bottle of wine and have a nice chat. He tries to make some moves on her, but Mal Soon has her guard up despite being interested in him as well. She just waits for him to pass out from drinking as she sings him a lullaby. Back at home, A Ja is seen to be drinking antidepressants again and hallucinates that Mal Soon is in the same room as her because she couldn't stop thinking about her. The next day, while recording Ji Ha's composed song, Sung Woo comments that the song doesn't fit their image and he'll be calling another composer. This upsets Jiha so much that he walks out while Mal Soon follows him, explaining that Sung Woo only wants the best for them. This upsets Jiha even more, and he asks Mal Soon if he slept with him. Seeing him disrespect her like that, Mal Soon beats him to his senses, just like any other Asian grandparent. After scolding Jiha, she brings him to a restaurant to feed him. There, she explains the situation and rejects him gently. Well, maybe not so gently when she calls out how immature he is. She also meets up with Mr. Park, who expresses how worried he is and notices that she has someone that she likes now. She gives him another bag of peaches and asks him to take care of Okia. However, he informs her that she fainted last week, emphasizing just how near the deathbed is when you're old. At their home, Hyun Chul finds Ji Ha composing another song. He was about to leave his room when he finds Mal Soon in Ji Ha's band group photo as very familiar to him. He goes through old photos and finds that Du Ri and his mother Mal Soon look exactly alike. Mal Soon also goes on a date with Seung Woo, where he confesses his feelings, but like Ji Ha, she rejects him properly, saying that the age gap between them is inappropriate. Later that night, she tries to visit Okia but is disheartened when she finds out that she has passed away. The day of their debut has come, but Ji Ha is stuck in traffic. He gets out of the taxi to rent a public bicycle so he can move through the traffic and reach the venue in time. Since he's in a hurry, he drives recklessly, and before he knows it, he gets hit by a truck and is rushed to the hospital. 
The news reaches the band and Sung Woo proposes to cancel the performance. However, as she knows her grandson very well, Mal Soon wants to continue the performance so the world will know how talented Ji Ha is. With Ji Ha's song, the performance is a success and the public receives it well. After performing, she rushes to the hospital and finds them in a dilemma because the hospital doesn't have enough blood for Ji Ha. She immediately volunteers to donate some of her blood as they share the same blood type. Mr. Park pulls her up the staircase to remind her that once she's donated her blood, she'll go back to her old self and she'll never reach her dreams to be with the man she loves. However, to Mal Soon, Ji Ha is much more important than all of those things. Hyun Chul overhears their conversation and he's already aware that Du Ri is indeed his mother. He encourages her to live her life as she has given up so much just to raise him. But Mal Soon remains firm on her decision. To her, it has always been her family before anything else, even if it costs a chance at a new life. She donates her blood and returns to her old self. A year has passed and Hannah is now the vocalist of Jiha's band. A Ja and Mal Soon's relationship has improved too. Mal Soon could only look at Sung Woo from afar, but to her, that's more than enough as she's finally with her family. This movie will both touch your heart and tickle your funny bone. This is perfect for some wholesome movie nights with your family and even your friends or a special someone. You can watch this with anyone, but a reminder, ready your tissues before watching this movie as you'll probably need them to wipe some tears, both from laughing too hard and from crying like a little baby. Please subscribe to our channel to be notified when we upload, and don't forget to suggest movies that you want us to recap in the comments down below.